Where did he used to play in MYM, do you know? I want to say like around the tower area, helping ramp from being the ramp connector. A rotator guy? That sounds about right, man. Okay, let's see. He gets the first kill as he hops on the box on the guy throwing the flash. He doesn't even take a bullet of damage. Sayok takes out fate. Sayok with two big kills. Re Robin, it looked like really should have got that kill there. Well, Robin like jumped into his crosshair, so that was uh, that was a questionable peek by him. I mean, he tried to get tried to trade that kill, but Sayok was just still waiting. And now this is around the existence just needs to capitalize on having this four v three advantage. They need to play this smart. Miliku has already out. Musambani is actually going outside. But that was He's actually, going really fast outside. That was a huge timing, because Gerai killed Miliku at like less than half a second after he got the bomb down. But getting that bomb down probably makes the difference this round. Like without the bomb plan, and then loses for sure. is going to come in mini. And gets killed immediately. He's spamming a bit too high there, but and right. then the HLTV just skips past. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice retake by SK. That was definitely around that Existence needed the win too, because it would have forced SK to save again and giving Existence 14 rounds. Now this is going to be a bit harder. See so if SK can afford to buy. He kind of tried to play it a little bit too cute there by going outside. And if Get yeah. Right had have gone mini, he maybe gets the free kill there. But in the end, it actually ended up hurting his team because he was in a weak position when he actually finally came in. Which if you're going to flank and you don't meet anyone, you should be in a stronger position, you know? Mm, look where Robin is still alive, unspotted. And gets two kills. That was Milikua there, not really looking that way, and that another round that SK somehow wins. Robin's down Robin just waiting for him to come up there. Wow, he gets the kill. That was a bad peek by Yurko just trying to rush in, because you know that the entire SK team's looking there. That if that round the guy that was by bomb boxes actually made sure to clear that little corner in the front rafter. Existence wins by default because Robin was blind there for so long in that 4v3. So that was definitely That was definitely a mistake by It doesn't seem like Existence have done half as good a job of spamming on the Rafters as they could have done considering some of the spots that the SK players play above the ladder Nice kill by face Forest with a couple with a couple of kills around. Forest 14 and 3 <laughs> really picking up this half. And now SK looks to be cruising to an easy win. Of the rounds that existence won so far, what was the closest to like a reusable strat? Well, I mean they almost won that upper rush. And that upper quick upper execution. Every other round, they like actually the only round that they won based on the strat was the upper rush, where uh, actually they lost that. Where Robin stayed alive. Other than that, they did that upper execution once, and once Sayok just got a couple of kills, so they didn't really get to execute. They were just like SK just kind of pushed and died. Oh, Delpan's pushed all the way up and gets killed. So we got the five v four. Get right is going lower. Goes to window. Forest heading towards ladder, just looking under. But actually, the existence players aren't over there yet. And two of them are going back. Looks like they still want to just slow it down a bit. Sayok sees his teammate get killed, then gets ripped by <laughs> Get Right. Get Right almost whiffed that shot too. He's down to four health now. Well, let's see what existence does now. Miliko with a nice kill. I mean, it was on the flank, but still. Get Right's down to four health. See if Existence just walks up, walks out upper again. Looks like Getright's gonna flank Vince though, which is a good spot for him considering that low health. The time is getting low. They're gonna go down with the bomb, and then Getright gets the free kill, and that's pretty much round. Well, unless they let him get up into the doors. First kill, Whoa. second kill. Eh, it's about the best he could have done there. Yeah. You really could not rely on him winning that round. If he got the first kill and got all the way up, he could have had a chance, but... He's kind of out of position though, considering yeah. he was someone coming down. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes you're hesitant to even move there, because then if you die while you're moving, you feel like, fuck, I couldn't even really get a shot off. Yep. 
Bad the spawn to that, rush. They have that one hill spawn, so they could theoretically run a door rush, but we'll see what they decide to do. Yep, yeah, looks like they're gonna... Gets the first kill from the door. The Sayog already saw that other guy in connector too, but face. Ooh, Zyros was so close to getting face there. Like, yeah, I think if Face nice doesn't push. instantly headshot him there, Zyrus probably gets that and then they at least get into the site. Yeah. And whoever would have been pushed back to get shot by Delpan in the back. Whoever was holding ram flank really should have gone to Hut quicker when the first guy going in Hut died, because Delpan just flanked Hut and killed two people in the back because no one was holding it anymore. Delpan's been going aggressive there for like the last three rounds, I think. Yeah. Just pushing right up in the lobby each time, but I don't think they saw him except that one guy. I mean, even though they've been playing against weak team, weaker teams at least, like X SK really has been looking pretty cocky overall with the way they've been playing. Like, not sure if it's like I mean, you can't it just looks like they like can't get serious. I don't think they're doing it on purpose. Yeah. It's more like they can't focus, you know. Yeah, but I'm saying like doing it's this definitely for, do, amateurish, doing this for yeah. doing this for too long. Like, it might be hard to at some point be like, okay, we need to, okay, guys, let's switch it to serious mode now. But then that might not just happen like that. Like you got to give Navi credit, even to an, even though Navi sometimes in like second group stages or whatever can su suffer. In like first group stages, they always rape everyone. Yeah, they just crush everyone, and all their players seem to just go nuts. I mean, that's a good game anyway. Let's see if Existence can win one more round of the next two. Not everybody's already left. Well, solid work by me. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty much just the generic thing I said anyway. Yeah. Alright, let me check when the next game is. Well, there's pretty much one round of just boring matches. Actually, never mind, there's basically at least two rounds of just like... really weak matches, it seems like. The best round of the first match, a uh, first round, seems to be like... I don't know, it's all local, like Delta against Impulse, but even that that is like a couple weak teams. So I'm not sure if that's interesting. And the second round is mm, Impulse versus Isahara. Like it really depends if Impulse is any good, whether any of these matches are interesting at all. And then after that we have some interesting matches. Okay, so if we're assuming that it goes on the head-to-head, -head, then Defining Stars would actually come second in this group, even though they had worse round difference by far than Existence. And in Game Goon bracket, do they literally do it? Like, does the threes play twos and stuff? Actually, how is it decided? There's, a, there's still a chance Defining Stars could jump up ahead of Existence, because they're playing that match against that ah, really, true, yes, really weak that. Spanish team that people have been like 30 zeroing basically. Ah, yeah. Good point. They haven't played it yet. Yeah, so there's a chance. Well, in fact, it's all, in fact, it's certain they're going to come second then. Well, I would think so, but yeah. I think they're already second now because they have their head-to-head -head record. Yeah, that's true. And do you know if it, it does the order you come out the group actually affect anything? Does, is it just like the top four get the buys and then the others play each other? Well, the second place and other groups third. In the third place. Is second. it always like that? Yeah, it is always. So I mean it's gonna help you a little bit to finish second for sure. I mean that will be significant actually because what if Um Actually that might work out negatively because Pain came third in group A, so that means that Pain could end up playing Defining Stars. Whereas Existence would actually get kick. I'm not actually sure which one's a better fair, better match out yeah. of that. I mean then again, Pain lost to you. Pain lost against that uh, kick, so like you gotta yeah, kind of let's, like, let's check what match we got. We gotta kind of wonder what really happened in that Navi game, because like there is a chance Navi just won by a lot. And then... Yeah, but kick versus pain was on dust too, so I'm not really sure that says anything. Like the first half was CT kick got nine rounds, and then they got thirteen as T. So I, if I had to guess, I'd probably say that was a game that probably ended quite quickly, and then they just ran up a lot of rounds. Mm. In fact, it definitely was, because if they only got 
if Payne only got eight rounds, that means they got two rounds in the second half and then just lost all the rest pretty much. Yeah. So are we going to just do the next game that is available, or should we take a break? Uh, I'd be down to take a little break, I guess, at least to eat. But, I mean, I would be done in less than 30 minutes in any case. I'm not. Right, well, just, case, let's break for the end of this group, since it's like a game still to be played. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna keep that. they're gonna start playing the group simultaneously. I think because there's only like there's still like one game to be played, but like I'm sure everybody else is already gonna set up and start as soon as they can since they're so far behind the schedule. So which game do we want to do first then? Because they're both pretty well, scrubby games. It's both like two bad Spanish teams versus like two teams who should wreck them. Delta Impulse is like the only. Match of any interest, in my opinion, not at the Really? Worst. You think Impulse are even going to have a chance of winning that? I mean, I everyone know. says I'd... in the comments that Del Delta aren't that good, but I'd have to imagine they're going to wreck Impulse. I think I think both those uh, local United Arab Emirates teams got some rounds on teams at least at those IEM Global Challenges in Dubai. Like that's all I know. Like I. Yeah, but if you look at the Gameaholics scores, they pretty much got wrecked by everyone. Except, ah, actually, they drew with Telekimix. But then again, Telekimix were really bad as well. Huh. Plus, I have to wonder if that isn't because it was in Dubai, and most people have in never been to Dubai before. Impulse has gotten 12 rounds on Mouse, and that's the only game they've ever gotten more than 8 rounds on. <laughs> I'm guessing they're probably going to get wrecked then. There really isn't, like, anything interesting happening. That first and that game's on Nuke. Yeah, I'm not sure if... Well, it's kind of a 50-50 because like, just idling is boring as well, but I don't know. You decide. Well, anyway, we'll just turn the stream off for now and we'll be back at some point for the first round of Group C, I guess. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see on Twitter and uh, the forums when we're going to be back. So see you for now.